you know, I just, uh, I don't know when the rain is going to end. I don't know. But, um, when it happens, call me and we can go, uh, we can go for a walk. Okay, this one's a toughie. Um, cocktail napkins are something that I have very mixed feelings about. First, when I was a child, I thought cocktail napkins were the coolest thing. I would try to sneak them into, you know, just like, oh, I need a, I need one of these napkins. No, those are not, those are for grown-ups. But uh, no, use a cloth napkin. Um, because cocktail napkins, they had power on them. They had design. They were little. Uh, they were much more brightly colored. Cocktail napkins. Um, then, when I became an adult, uh, I got really tired of being served, say, a solo cup with a cocktail napkin. It just gets wet. It's not helpful to me. Um, if I'm being served past hors d'oeuvres, I don't need a napkin with everything. It's like, no thanks, I'm fine. Um, and if I really get in trouble, I generally will have a hanky. And if it's a formal thing, I will have more than one hanky. I will have one in my breast pocket of my coat, and I'll have one on the ass of my pants. So, don't worry, I'm fine, I'm fine. Here, nap, no, go, give someone else. Someone else needs some salmon. So, or whatever it is. But at the same time, I still feel this urge to acquire inventive cocktail napkins because they've gotten even better than the jazzy psychedelic cocktail napkins of my childhood. Um, optic, you know, optical art, I think it was called. <clears throat> really funky things in the late 60s, early 70s. Now there are cocktail napkins from museums. Well, how do I not go out of the gift shop with that? Well, because you're not buying the coffee table book. Exactly, because the coffee table book weighs a ton and is big, whereas I can buy a couple sets of cocktail napkins and give those as presents. So cocktail napkins, as a functional thing, I'm not so excited about. And yet, somehow, I feel the urge to give them to people I care about because I think they're, I still think they're cool. I think they're so cool. And it's probably my inner five-year-old who still thinks that's cool. Kind of like the time I ordered milk on the rocks when my parents had a party and hired um, a neighborhood kid from down the block to be bartender. And he kept pouring drinks on the rocks. And I didn't know what that meant, and so I ordered milk on the rocks. Um, I never did it again, but I felt like such a grown-up. And I remember that more than I remember the cocktail napkins. So clearly, cocktail napkins are in their own special category of cool. Even though milk with ice in it is gonna be really cool, but that's a different kind of cool. Cocktail napkins, that's all I have to say about them.